What's going on? I'm Ed Gregory, and right now I'm going to show you how to make this photo look like this photo. Now, we're going to be using Lightroom Classic on our computer to do this, but you can also do it on Lightroom Mobile on your phone. Just follow along step by step, and the great thing is, at the end, save it as a preset, and then you can use this for any of your photos in the future. Stick around to the end because I've got this killer Instagram trick. Basically, if you use two sliders to make a change, I guarantee your photo will do better on Instagram. Okay, let's jump in and make a start. Okay, so here we are inside Lightroom. The first thing I always do is I scroll down the side here and I go to Lens Corrections and I'm gonna select Remove Chromatic Aberration and Enable Profile Corrections. So, that's all sorted there. Then we're gonna work from the top and go all the way down the side. First thing I'm going to do on this image is boost the white balance temperature and I'm gonna make it really warm because we are on the beach. So if you look here, we've got up to all the way up here. See how warm it is? And then I'm gonna lift the exposure. Now you can do this by whichever amount you need for your photo. For me, it's just a tiny little lift. Then with the contrast, what we're going to do is we're gonna lift the contrast all the way up to 50. Now, you might be thinking, photos are starting to look bad, but don't worry about it. Now we're gonna do something more extreme. Highlights all the way down, shadows nearly all the way up. We're gonna go all the way up to 90. And then we're gonna take our whites all the way down and then we're gonna take our blacks and we're just gonna lift our blacks up 10. So it's starting to come together, but it, it's not perfect yet. The next thing we're gonna do, I like to add just a tiny little bit of texture, like so. Vibrance, we're gonna go all the way up to plus 20 and the saturation, negative five. Okay, so it's a little too saturated right now, but don't worry, we will be imp improving that. Okay. Now we're going to come to the tone curve. With this, if yours looks like this, so you've got these sliders, click on the little box in the corner here, and that will take you up to this section here. Now remember, you can do this in both Lightroom CC Classic on your computer or on your phone as well. Lightroom CC or Lightroom Mobile. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna add a number of points to this. We're gonna do it slightly differently to what I might do other times. See this little cross point here? I'm gonna click and I'm gonna make one point just here. And then I'm gonna actually make another point quite close to the bottom and I'm gonna pull it down. And as I pull it down this way, it's actually gonna make a quite a steep curve going up. So the highlights are gonna get brighter, but the blacks are just gonna get blacker at the bottom here. And that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna lift the very last dot up and that's gonna crush the blacks slightly. So let's look at the before and after with the tone curve. That looks great. Before and after the whole image so far, I'm using backslash on the keyboard. That's a pretty big change. So let's take a quick pause because I want to tell you about something really exciting. I've been selling my Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography courses online for years. But what I've just done is I've put them all together and now you can get absolutely all of my courses as well as monthly live streams and new courses that come every single month. So if you want to become a member and join in, all you have to do is go to members.photosincolor.com. Let's continue. Now we're gonna alter the colors. Now, the colors we're gonna do hue, saturation, and luminance. So we're gonna start off with the hue of all, all of the colors. Now for me, it's pretty important that we don't move the orange slider very much because that is where the skin tones live. So we're gonna leave that at zero. And now what we're gonna do is create a diagonal line. So I'm gonna go plus 40 on this side, and then on the other side I'm gonna go negative 30, and then the next slider, I'm gonna go negative 60. So you can see what we've got there. We've got this nice diagonal line that's come down this way. And then we're gonna keep on going with that. The aqua, okay, we're gonna go all the way to zero. Real diagonal line going on there. And then we're basically gonna just come back the other way, but I'm gonna to go to 20, and then this is basically, you know, we're just coming back up to the zero line here. The next set here is your saturation. Again, we're not really gonna to touch to our oranges, but we are gonna pull down our reds quite a bit. So we're gonna go all the way down there. We're going for, what's that, 45-ish. Um, and then we're also going to pull down our yellows. Now, pulling down the yellows, because that's where it is in the grass. So we're just gonna pull down the yellows, not too much, but down in the 30 zone. And then the same with the green. We're gonna pull down the saturation of the green. We're gonna to go to negative 60. 
And then we're going to basically come back up to zero, coming back up this way. We're just going to slowly bring it round, and we're back up to zero there. That's it. Now, the luminance, this is what's going to make the most difference. So we're going to leave the red where it is, but we're going to lift up the skin tones. You see how I slide it up? Down, up. So if I'm just going to lift this up because it's a nice sunny day to plus 20. And then the yellows, what's which the yellows does? This always basically does the highlights in the sun. Can you see? It kind of just lifts the whole image up. So I'm going to make that even higher to plus 30. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is with the greens, I'm going to go even higher. So look, look at the grass down here. So I'm going to make this line basically go up in a nice diagonal line that way. And then this is what I'm going to do with the aquas. I'm actually going to pull aqua way down. Look what happens to the ocean. So I'm going to bring back the texture in the ocean. So I'm going to go way down to negative 50. And then I'm just going to pull the blues down slightly and then lift up these last two there. So let's look at the color before and after. See how it's just kind of helped lift the image and bring all of those tones together. Now, split toning, we'll, we're going to leave all of that. Sharpening, uh, I only like to apply a little bit of sharpening. I don't like to go crazy. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on a PC, and I can see how much sharpening I want to do. I'm just going to zoom in for this on a one-to-one, -one, and now I can see how much sharpening I want in there. Around there looks good. Detail, not too much on the detail. Then let's mask it out. I'm holding Alt or Option for all of this, and I can see it's only applying it to where it's white, not to where it's black. I don't need any sharpening in the sky because it's all blown out. And that there is the edit, before and after. Huge change. Now, here is that tip that I promised you if you want your images to do well on Instagram. Watch what I can do. If I was to pull down the blues here, I can bring back all the details in the sky. Personally, I love this. I think this looks like a commercial. It looks like an ad. It makes it look absolutely incredible. But if you want your photo to do well on Instagram, do the opposite. Take your blues, go really high, and these aquas go really high as well. And now, look, we've blown out the sky. In fact, we're going to come up here, and we're going to take our whites. We're going to lift the whites up as well. And that is now a completely different edit before and after. But this is the one that will do better on Instagram. That's because what we've done is we've got rid of most other tones apart from skin tones. And for some reason, that always does better on Instagram. And you can even boost this a little bit by lifting up your oranges even higher. And you can see now you've actually made her pop even more. So that there is how you can do that edit. Just remember, turn this into a preset, and now you can use it in any photograph in the future. Now, this is part of my Learn This Edit series. So if there's a style of photography that you want to learn, let me know in the description below. I'll figure out how to do it, and then I will do a step-by-step -step tutorial for you. So if you like this video and others on my channel, definitely subscribe and come back and watch more from this series, Learn This Edit, in the future. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, if you want to learn Lightroom, photography, or Photoshop, then head over to members.photosincolor.com. Thanks. My name's Ed Gregory, and I'll see you on the flip-flop. See you on the flip-flop.